All my James Harden fans out there, your boy is gone full chubby bunny and now he might be absolutely out as he erodes all of himself. What's the man doing? I know he wants a trade, but it's opening night. Can't you just get it right today? Isn't that all right? It's thunder at the Rockets. Will they even have their stars? Let's find out. So in just a few moments, we'll be back and ready for action. Welcome everyone to a new season of the NBA. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us at 2K Sports are as we get ready to start the season in style. I'm Brian Anderson alongside Doris Burke, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce. With us tonight, founder and CEO of The Ringer, the one and only Bill Simmons. How you doing, Bill? Uh, I'm doing great. It's, a, it's awesome to be here. I have tried to play this game with my son. I do the, the stretch offense, try to shoot a lot of threes and kind of outwit him. It's tough. I'm old. My video game skills are defining, but it's awesome to be here. Perhaps we could add the four corners module to this. Do they have that? That would, that would make life a lot easier for me. All right, we're ready to go. And as you know, I'm talking about James Harden's big debacle with the strip club, not strip club. He's out there without a mask, celebrating one of his friends, getting Christmas gifts, and he might not be available. And they just sent John Wall home, so the new star probably not playing as well. Going to be a wild time. I'm rocking as the Thunder because I, I want them to make it right, man. They, they have put together such good squads year after year, and they just can't get it together. we got OKC, Shy and Co. rocking those sexy city jerseys. I love all the city jerseys. I think they're all nice. Also, this Harden, like, this is like, this is doing him too many favors, right? My boy James, uh, he is not that skinny right now. The dude is uh, John Wall, showing his love, kicking it out to James. Get that cash money, blah, blah, blah. That's how he goes. If he's in, doesn't matter if he's putting on a little pudge, he's going to put the ball in the hoop. But I don't think he's playing tonight. Let me know in the comments if you guys think he's going to play. And even if you're a Harden fan, are you kind of fed up with this whole act? I know he wants to be traded. He's expanded his list of teams. But it's it's pretty. It's just pretty bled that he's, he's, he's just causing trouble. You know, the, all these stories have come out about how the guy loves to party. He'll come back and still drop 50. So, like, oh, people just get used to it. But I don't know. I, I like my stars to really run the show and do what's right for their city and their team. And James just doesn't seem like he wants to be that player right now. He seems like he wants to be kind of immature. He seems like he wants to be kind of ornery. He seems like he wants to do things his way. And, and I don't know. That's not... You're a professional, right? Get your get your act together. You're going to be traded. You're going to be traded. But, like, in the meantime, you know, I don't know. I saw an unnamed NBA uh, exec said that, that James Harden basically feels like a cancer to a locker room at this point, which is not what you want to say about a guy that, you know, one of the best players in the freaking world, man. But he's just he's just not not putting that together right now uh, from a mentality standpoint. It's interesting here because, you know, you got John Wall over here who's probably – not playing with a uh, not playing. Gosh, Houston 7-0 might not even need to play. But John Wall probably not playing. Probably making Russell snicker over in Washington, you know. And then you got KD just lighting it up for for Brooklyn last night, dropping over 20 points in 25 minutes. Starts off so hot, showing that like he's going to be a force, and the the Nets are going to be a tough tough team in the East, even you know with. Uh, Milwaukee keeping, goodness gracious, they can't shoot. There you go. On the board, Horford, even with Milwaukee keeping Giannis, uh, you know, the Nets are going to be tough. But, man, at this point, it's like, James, do you really want to implode like this? Obviously, KD is the best of the OKC bunch, but do you want to be? Do you want to end up being, like, the worst of the group? I mean, the guy's got clutch shooting. The guy's got nice form. The guy's got those, I don't know if it's a travel or not, but he's inventing new moves, step backs. I've never really liked Harden, but, you know, if you're, if you're a Houston fan, more power to you. Um, I don't own any Houston cards. I, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm kind of into the sports card thing. Not in a huge way, but if, and I'm sure you guys have, have paid attention. Like, like it's a big deal. I just got a Durant rookie yesterday before they go crazy. I mean, I probably should have got it a day earlier after his hot start, but I wanted to get in because he's completely under... Oh, my gosh. This is a young squad. Wait till Bronny comes into the NBA and they, you know, have all these number one picks. Maybe then they'll be good. But right now, OKC is a struggle bus squad. Um, even if we don't have... Even if Houston doesn't have Harden, they should be fine tonight. But, you know, without John Wall, without Harden, a bunch of players potentially in COVID tracing. I don't know. It's going to be like an interesting scenario to see what they got going on. Ooh, cute pass there. EG, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. Ah! Can't get those deep balls to fall, but it's a nice 7-2 lead here. Shy trying to make his mark. 
here in the first quarter, too. Better shoot, man. Ooh, he got nice. Bury that shot, Shy. Show your new stuff. Um, but yeah, so I picked up a Durant. Oh! James being like, shh. He posted on Instagram that it wasn't a strip club. Everybody's just on his case, but it's not that it's a strip club. It's the fact that he's out without a mask, which is against NBA rules in a, in a large gathering. But yeah, gosh, that shot was was nice. That's my second deep ball I've ever buried. But um, so I got the Durant. I picked up a Tyler Hero uh, Silver Prism rookie card because he's still undervalued, I think. And, and if the Heat have a successful year, I think he's going to be a pretty good grab. I'm sitting on my Lucas. Um, I, I, I got nervous because I haven't done much with like sports cards before. So, you know, I, I felt I felt a little worried. Ooh, felt a little worried over the summer when a lot of the cards dipped. Like the Luka cards went up like double during last season, triple even, quadruple even. And then they dipped. They got, they got cut in half over the summer, but they're back up to where they were at the end of the, the season. When uh, when Luca when Luca hit that big buzzer beater, they reached their like highest price point, like twenty two, uh, and they're they're almost back to that. So I'm I'm probably going to be much more heavy into the NBA this year than I have in the past. Um, I'll be curious to see if Harden's traded, how his how his rookie card value increases or decreases. But I'm trying not to, to get too crazy. I've got I got all my cards from last year. Um, I haven't really sold many. Um, I've sold a lot of my NFL cards, my Russell Wilson rookie, my Josh Allen uh, rookie, but I haven't messed with my basketball. I got Tatum. I got Zion, I got Trey, um, Luca, so I'm trying to, you know, oh, Eric Gordon, get in there. Ah, stuffed at the rim by Al Horford, that's a good move. Power versus speed, and power wins out. But yeah, it's it's a good start to the season last night. I feel bad, the Warriors, man, Steph is my favorite player in the NBA. Um, and I just, like, they're just not, they, I mean, Wiseman look really good, but like, I don't, without Clay, I just don't know that they have it. I don't know, I, we'll see if they make any moves or do anything or what they're going to do. You know, it's just, it sucks to waste another year of Steph and Draymond, but I don't know. Uh, John Wall. Oh, John Wall, though. Yo, that's the moves that they made the move for. It's funny to me that Harden doesn't even care. He's like, I don't care if I have CP3, run him out of town. I don't care if I have Russ, don't want to play with him. I don't care if I got John Wall, trade me. I understand some guys, it just doesn't work out. But man, like, I don't know. That attitude's always bothered me. Growing up in the 90s, like, you know, I... I'm a fan of, of the players that just stayed loyal to their city. I heard this talk, you know, from, from Gary V about people who, who love their home team. Like, it just it shows, you know, your extreme loyalty, you know, and, and that's just, like, such a becoming quality in, in business, in, in personality. It shows that you love the process, right? You're, you're more there for the, the journey than you are for the end result. You just hook onto a bandwagon team that wins easy rings. Like, oh, wow. Come on. I don't know. That scoop shot looking a little, little old-fashioned there, but that move. Sure made us feel like we were stuck in the past. Um. So yeah, I. Ooh. Come on. Tough shot, but we'll take it. James. James can't be stopped. This is a good game here. Thunder have come back a little bit, but the Rockets are pushing through. I love that they add the city jerseys. I don't know. I think they're so amazing this year. My Detroit Pistons, my hometown squad, has horrible city jerseys. So I definitely won't be getting any. But you know, I still, I still like the way they look. Um. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting season. I mean, the Lakers are obviously heavily favored, as they probably should be. But I hope that I hope that there's some more, some more fun to be had. You know, Miami's surprise team last year that was really fun. I hope we have a little bit, a little bit of that action this year. I mean, if if, if I mean, I don't, I don't. Wow, I don't think, I don't think James stays. But if he did, do you think the Rockets would have a chance? Or do you think they're just doomed with their? Do you think they're just doomed and they need to just mix it up? They need to just move on and, and blow it apart i mean the sixers feel like they're in a similar position ben simmons and doc and every whoa let's go big boy it's a good shot by john wall ah, i thought we were going to keep the barrage going should have taken probably john wall the basket after that super slam that's pretty freaking sweet ah but yeah, Harden's pudge is, is kind of kind of silly. Dude reminds me of like Eddie Lacy one year. He came back to the Packers and was like, "I'm just big and you can't stop me." You, and, and and you know it's NFL, so literally you can't stop him. Oh, John Wall, come on now. You guys got a D up better than that. That's a nine point lead. We went on a big run there and the first half. Show him who's boss. Uh, but yeah, this COVID stuff is going to be interesting. We've seen it decimate certain uh, NFL teams throughout the year. Wow, shy, shy, not shy about his new stuff, his new skills. But yeah, enjoy the halftime show. Um, I really, really wanted to see, uh, you know, uh, how COVID's gonna play out. I hope it doesn't cause effect 
cause too many problems, but as we saw at the NFL, sometimes it's just impossible to control, so that's going to be a big storyline. But this Harden thing currently is all the talk. Leading by seven, and will step away briefly, but gets you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. Taking a look at the Rockets and Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. And so far, the beard has owned the game. He's getting to his spots. It's just going to work. Tough shot maker, shooting them right in your face. The defense is not the most And over to Kenny, your thoughts on the Thunder's first half. Well, after the field goal percentage they allowed in the first half, it's time for them to get tough. That's right, tough. If they're going to stay in this game, they'll need to turn this into a street fight. Get physical. Let some elbows go. Yes, let them go. And guys know they're going to be no more easy baskets in here. Let them know that. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Yeah, I mean, the man James Harden has really put on a show here. Proven his extreme worth. We, we don't doubt that. Like, we know the guy is insanely good and insanely talented it just seems to be like some of this some of this other nonsense like can can you just can you just chill demand your trade in peace if that's what you're gonna do or play for your freaking team play for your city i mean houston has stood behind him i don't know i i would if i was in the nba which i never will be you know i would want to win I'd want to win for my team, for my city, for my friends, for the people that believe in me. I'd want to, gosh, some muscle. I'd want that to be, I'd want that to be my legacy, you know? I wouldn't want to just, oh gosh, that's a accidentally double covered and we, oh wow, we got lucky on the bell out there. This is just a big game for the, 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 the Rockets. And honestly, I expect it to go just this way. I really, really do. I really expect it to just kind of be a similar similar situation to this um, tonight. I, I, what game are you guys most excited for? I mean, obviously, I know you Houston fans, and people are excited to see what happens with... Oh! oh, 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 oh John Wall! Putting up the wall! Uh, I know everybody's excited to see, like, the season get going, your favorite players, and see if Harden actually plays. Christian Wood, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one. Um, but, like, I think seen what Devontae Graham and, and uh, LaMelo can put together over in Charlotte is going to be really interesting. Like, do they have any chance at being decent? I mean, probably not. That team is very under-talented. But I'm excited for that duo. Devontae Graham had one of the biggest glow-ups, if you want to use a goofy social media term, last season. Um, taking it from, what, like 5.4 points a game to like 18 points a game. He put up 25 in the preseason finale. And, you know, him with, him with LaMelo... Uh, should make a good team. I, I think it's fun. People are saying, like, LaMelo has, like, so much joy in the locker room, bringing so much fun to the game. And I like that, you know. Despite what, what's, you know, despite his dad or all that nonsense, like, he seems like a good player. He seems to know what he wants, know what he's doing. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to just have him, have him come out and, and be ready to go. All right. Yeah, come on. That's way too easy. Are you kidding me? Yep. Let's go. Eyeballs. In the face, I have not turned off notifications on my Xbox Series X. Oops. John Wall putting up eight. And oh, oh my gosh, we are on like a 14 to 0 run. This is pretty crazy. This dude looks skinnier than me. Finally, they get a bucket. That's their first bucket of the half? Yeah. Oh, John Wall stepping out. John Wall got a little overconfident there, a little overzealous. But yeah, it is Premier Week. The Thunder have gotten only one oh, goodness gracious, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the Thunder squad is so weak. But again, they're playing for the future. Goodness gracious. Eric Gordon, let's go for the big slam. Yeah. Hit that 30. Over doubled up now. Poor George Hill, man. 
Dude was on some solid pacer squads. He's a good player. And he just, I mean, I mean, I guess being a being a, a, a leader, a veteran on a young squad is, is you know, there's some value there. Golly goodness, are you kidding me? What are you guys doing? You know, it's funny, just the Thunder, I don't know, like, I feel bad because the Thunder, at one point they had some of the best guys in, in the league. Oh, wow, James. And then, you know, it just, it all fell apart. That that was some of my favorite basketball, like, watching the, even after Harden, you know, was gone, just watching, like, the, the Russ-KD duo, I mean, I, I know they had their battles, they were kind of like Bicker Brothers, but, like, just some of those battles and, and some of those playoff series were just so fun, so good. Shy over here, though, like, doing his, oh! Yo, and, and we give him the open look because of the steal. Shy, I mean, I love the way he's capitalized. I actually had a Shy Red Ice last year talking about sports cards. I ended up selling it. Um, oh, James, that step back a little too slow. But we still got the big lead. But yeah, Shy is a nice player. I sold the Red Ice in the offseason. Um, I don't know, maybe I should have held on to it. But given that the Thunder don't have like much of a squad, I don't feel confident. Trey Young's another guy I've been really interested in. I mean, his popularity is is up there. He's not like the he's not like the cultural phenomenon that Luca is, but he's a. I mean, he might be. He's pretty dang good. He is a force on the court. His scoring, his stat line is just very impressive. So we got the big lead here. Not really gonna. I mean, again, like I. A lot of these games I've tried to have are like NBA Finals matchups before the season started, but now that we're doing actual matchups from the year, it's like, you know, this is what you're going to get sometimes, right? Like sometimes it's going to be these blowouts, just kind of kind of expect it when it's a mismatch. And when the, the Rockets have their full squad, because I don't think they're going to have their full squad tonight. If, if, if Wall is home and Harden is home, this is going to look like a totally different game. Ooh, nice kick to Baisley. Baisley hits the three. Let's watch out here. I mean, they're, 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 they're still down 11, but they got this full court press. Wow. Ho oh, ho! Look at this. Bulldozing Harden. He doesn't care. He steps over everybody. Steps on the toes of the, the whole rock. Oh, wow. Yo, that's a. That's. That's. Yeah. Come on. SGA getting a little bit of a. Goodness going on there. Nope. We don't. No, no party invitation, guys. Sorry about that. We gotta. We gotta settle our squad down. Same cheerleaders every city. They must travel. All it made sense when it was the bubble, but it don't make sense now. Why do they all look the same everywhere they go? Alright. Let's roll with it, baby. Come on now. Come on. Terrible shot. Terrible shot, Christian. I was trying to pass it out. It just didn't let me audible out of that move. Oh, gosh. George Hill cuts it to seven. Let's be careful now. Come on now. Give it to RPG. Come on now. Let's get this set up here. Good move, good shot, good Bucky. That's what we needed. Free up James a little bit and get him that bucket to make it double digits. I feel good about that. That was a good play. Shy is probably going to try to do what he can here. He's got some moves. Look at this guy going to work on James Harden. Yeah, man. How many does he have tonight? Oh, he's, he's only got eight, but he's, put, he's putting together a nice performance. What? Why aren't we covering John Wall? Again, I know that he's not James Harden. I know that, you know, whatever. But, like, why aren't we covering the man? James Harden's trying to get some pokes. Yeah, there we go. that's going to be the game. That's going to be the game. Let's slow it up. Slow it up. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Rockets. Any Harden fans sick of him? I want to hear from you in the comments down below. What's the game you're most excited for tonight? Let me know if you guys enjoy these videos. Have a fantastic day. Get ready for Christmas. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, staying smart out there. Uh, we're going to finish the game out, obviously, but, you know, it seems like it's just about over. Ooh, thought Harden was going to sneak that one in there, but just wanted to burn the shot clock in this game. George Hill pops and spots and gets it. That's a good, good look. I mean, they're going to be okay in a few years. It's just not their time. I don't know. Like, they're kind of like the Pistons, like a project. Good pull-up, good spot. Bad shot, though. Man, I'm, 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 
I struggle on the like on the set shots. I can I, I hit the I hit it well, but it's just oh my gosh, cut him. But I just I, I stink at the pull ups on getting the the shot the shot bar. Come on, James. Go for a buzzer beat here. Look, oh my gosh, fancy footwork, dude's coming to summer camp. Ah, he missed his last three threes, but it's all right. Put up big numbers, hit that half-court buzzer beater. Even if it didn't count, his points might not count at all because he might not be playing. Let's find out later tonight. In the meantime, though, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. And until next time, we'll see you all later. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.